Hi, so in the last video we made it so that our our sidebar actually shows the correct highlights for the correct page. Now in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit of an edit and we're gonna upload a photo to see if our upload functionality actually works. So let's go to our downloads and let's see if I have a nice picture to upload. And I'll just pick this picture because it's small in size. So that's my bathroom if you're interested. I'm not, but anyways, we want to change some text. Let's change it to change text. Change text. And let's change our phone number as well. 999-888-1234. Let's click Save Changes. See what happens. So it is taking a while, but let's go refresh our project meal folder. Just gonna pause the video here to make sure it finishes. So it finished and it uploaded and what we have here is the picture uploaded. If we go to our bucket, we could see that there is an or company folder. Going inside, we could see that it indeed uploaded a picture and if we open that, that's a picture of my bathroom. So we're all good on that front. Now what I want to talk about in today's video is this people, this people link in the sidebar. and. What this link is going to show, it's going to show a list of people that belongs to the company. So to get down to the code, what we want to do first is we want to change the routes. So I want you to go to routes, open that up, and I want you to add a new route. And this route is going to be get or company's people um, or company's hash people to or company people. So what this pretty much means is, okay, we're going to take this, this route and it's going to map that to the orgs company's controller to the people function. And this is the path for that, for that function. So we're going to take this org company, orgs company people, and we're going to go to our sidebar and for our people, for our people link right here, we're going to put that in there. So it's going to look like that. And that will link us to, to our orgs company people function, which we haven't written yet. But to get to, to write it, it's actually pretty simple. What you want to do is define people. And what's in there is actually, it's actually Okay, let's start a variable people and or contact because we're looking for the the contact information of the people or the our employees attached to this company where org company ID is current or person or company ID. So what we're saying is okay, look for all the contacts whose org company ID is equal to mine. Because the people are my coworkers should have the same ID as same or company ID as me because well they're my coworkers. Where not or person ID is nil. So remember that in the last video I told you to change the update function to or person ID equals nil. Well that is to find the the contact information for the company. But what we're looking for here is we're looking for our coworkers. So our coworkers are people and they should have an org person ID. So CU position, I'm gonna have that be our be my type position ID. So I'm just rewriting that saving saving my my position into C, into the CU position variable. And this is actually where I want to leave it, leave it. So in the next video, we're going to write up the view and we're going to show how this page actually looks like. Anyways, please rate, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Leave questions and comments in the comments box as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.